how fructose causes hypertension in addition to fatty liver well fructose directly contributes to insulin resistance so we've got some beautiful studies where they've actually had groups of children who have been consuming a lot of sugar which is 50% fructose 50% glucose and they've taken out the fructose but they've basically replaced it with same amounts of glucose so the total carbohydrates have stayed the same but the fructose has reduced and in those studies even very short periods in the space of you know just over a week they've been able to demonstrate significant reductions in liver fat and have no doubt that liver fat is uh, fatty liver is a direct con- a cause of insulin resistance now if you have insulin resistance we said before that means the insulin's not working properly so then your body will increase the level of insulin now the thing about insulin not working properly is it's very tissue specific so while it might not work as as it normally does in your muscle tissue helping your muscles to take sugar out of circulation it can still work relatively well at the fat level so help your fat stores take sugar out and it can still work quite well at the kidney level and one of the jobs of uh, insulin at the kidney level is to actually hold on to sodium so that's actually a, a much more important factor for increasing the sodium in your body and causing high blood pressure than is the amount of sodium that you consume if you consume a, a modicum of sodium but have very high insulin levels your body's going to try very hard to hold on to all of that sodium you can on the other hand consume a whole lot of sodium but have very good low insulin levels and any excess sodium that can you consume will just come out in your urine high insulin levels prevent that from happening effectively so fructose causes high blood pressure predominantly through the mechanism of insulin resistance now it can also interact with uh, nitric oxide levels via uric acid and some of your viewers may have seen lectures by professor tom uh, robert lustig um, he did a famous lecture that's about 11 years old now and he's got a uh, quite complicated diagrams in there that demonstrate how fructose metabolism in leads to changes in uric acid levels which then lead to changes in nitric oxide and nitric oxide is actually something that relaxes blood vessels and actually helps lower blood pressure and if you interfere with that pathway then that's another potential mechanism to increase blood pressure but i believe the predominant one is the sodium retaining effects of insulin at the kidneys